back in 2016, I did this look. And now, I'm gonna try and recreate it. I started with moisturizer on my face and pinned my bangs out of the way before putting on foundation. Then I blended that out with a sponge. In recreating the look I did a few years ago, I knew I wanted to keep the broken look. I like the idea of the skin cracking and breaking away to reveal the Cheshire Cat underneath. This time, I didn't want to just have one large section covering half of my face. So I took my time envisioning where to place the cracks around my face before outlining it with a black eyeliner pencil. I do like the idea of half fantasy and half regular lips though, so I had to figure out a way to keep that in. I wasn't liking the placement of some of the lines, so I went in to make some slight adjustments to include more of my eye within the Cheshire Cat section. With a makeup sponge, I used cream makeup to block in some of the pink color for the base. This part doesn't have to be perfect, especially around the neck, since that's the spot where I add stripes later. I mentioned using moisturizer at the beginning of these Halloween looks because when I did this one four years ago, I forgot moisturizer on my neck. That meant I couldn't get all of the makeup off and it looked like a giant bruise. Once I know what section I want to work with on my neck and chest, I outline that part with the same eyeliner pencil. Next, I use a paintbrush to add the light purple stripes on my neck. Don't worry, I bought these brushes specifically to use for these makeup looks, not for paint. I used another brush to paint on the pink stripes and make the color more vibrant, which I continue to do on my face. Once I had the pink stripes in, I wanted to make the purple ones a bit larger, so I went over them again. To make the cracks more noticeable as well, I outlined all of the lines with black liquid eyeliner and used it to draw a line for the right side of my mouth. Because it is supposed to look like the skin is cracked, I added a few smaller lines to some of the edges where two lines meet to look like hairline fractures. I did this on my shoulder and chest first just to make sure it was looking how I wanted and added more small cracks later on. Whenever I do looks like this, I'm not sure how to do my eye makeup. So I started with a dark purple on my crease which I blended out with a brush and a shimmery sand color to highlight my brow bone. And then I found a pink eyeshadow similar to the color I used for the rest of the look and added it to my lids. I wasn't loving the color, so I took a shimmery dark blue and patted the color slightly over the purple eyeshadow and blended it out with the same brush I used on my crease earlier. Since I was planning to use this same blue shade again on these small cracks, I thought this might help tie it in. With some makeup remover and the corner of a cotton pad, I cleaned up some of the edges and other mistakes. Next, I took my liquid eyeliner and lined my eyes, trying to connect the cracks that ended near the corners of my eyes. I 
I still wanted a winged look though, so I went back to the outer corner and added a little flick of eyeliner to give it that winged look. Moving on to the mouth, I took white cream makeup and painted the section where I was going to draw the teeth. To clean up the edges, I used the brush with pink makeup, then outlined the white with liquid eyeliner. Then I drew lines to separate the teeth. Since it is a fantasy look, the number of teeth doesn't really matter. Besides, the Cheshire Cat's known for that toothy grin. With a makeup sponge, I added some black cream makeup to the edges for a shadow. Some parts ended up with a little too much black, so I took the sponge with pink makeup and tried to blend in some more pink. Then the sponge accidentally removed some of the color, so I took my brush and tried blending that way instead. I added a bit more pink in spots to make it more vibrant and went over any lines that got covered up. I took the liquid eyeliner one last time to draw hairline fractures on some of the corners of the cracks on my face. With the same blue eyeshadow from earlier, I used a brush to go over the bits of cracks as if it was a haze or almost blood kind of coming out of it. I chose the color to reference the Tim Burton Cheshire Cat, and it also stands out pretty well against the pink. You know, because of the color wheel. To finish the look, I added mascara and red lipstick. Hi, this is Future Crystal in the process of editing, and this is when I realized my microphone didn't record. So I will summarize while you watch extra clips of me trying to get cool shots. I do think that there is some improvement in what I did now compared to four years ago, and that just comes with general practice and a tiny bit of planning. 
Don't be afraid to just try something though, because you might end up with something cool. If it looks bad, you can change it or learn for next time. It might look even better than you expect, which is what happened when I first tried adding that blue to the cracks. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and leave a comment. You can watch other Halloween looks in my playlist and subscribe to my channel for a variety of videos that will be coming after Halloween. That doesn't mean I'll stop the makeup looks, just that they'll be less frequent. I'm Crystal Campos, and thank you for joining me off air.